You shed a few tears, you think, when you go out there for the last time on Saturday? I hope not, but you know, if, if they come out, they come out. I won't, I won't be, you know, I'm not opposed to it. If they come out, come out. Um, yeah. Is this an emotional week for you? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. But at the same time, it's a work week. You know, I, I, I feel like the emotions won't come out until, you know, pre, pre warm up or something like that. What are your thoughts on Iowa's offense? Um, I like Iowa's offense. Uh, you know, they have a a really good quarterback, you know, he, he's smart with the ball and they have a, you know, a good offensive line. You can tell that they're coached really well, you know, though they're, they're going to come on and play. Talk about the last game and the emotions of the, the, the overtime and, and making the big plays on the stretch. Uh, it was a blessing, you know, just to, you know, see, you know, the team come out and, and just keep fighting. And that's one thing that Coach Hope, you know, preaches to us, you know, just finish, finish. And that's what we did uh, Saturday. You feel you're playing your best football of your career right now? Um, I've, I've gotten better. Mm -hmm. I won't say best. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't really know. You know. So the best. It was film? A, probably so. Would you put that out there as a top play you've had at Michigan thus far? I would say so. You know, as a as an as an individual, yeah. But you know, um, I was more happy that you know those guys kept fighting deep as we made a lot of mistakes. And you know, I just you know I was happy to go out there and make a play that you know helped us win. Can you break down that last play, just the, the formation and then what you saw and then making the tackle? Well, it was a uh, it was a zone read. And, you know, I just. Saw you know the quarterback hand the ball off and I just I lights went off just go and get the ball and I just went and got it. Have you seen that play on film? Yeah, I saw it. Times. Yeah. I mean, could you you hit him pretty hard? Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, shout out to uh, Jabril Black for eating up two blocks from me. you know he opened that guy wide open and I just I, I just came scot free. Speaking of play recognition, how far has it been for you throughout the years compared from last year to this year? Well, I would say, you know, uh, anything with repetition, you start to become, you know, just familiar, just more comfortable. I would say just me taking reps and, you know, just, you know, Coach Smith and Coach Madison, they do a good job of just giving me what I need to go out there and just perform better. Did it sort of click? Because you, you mentioned that in the Illinois game. Uh -huh. You had that interception, you recognized the play. When did you start? When, you know, going out there and start recognizing plays, you feel like it's starting to click out there. I would say that goes to the preparation, just watching film. You know, when you watch film, you know, you can go out there and, and you can start anticipating different things that the offense do. And, you know, we, we watch film a ton here, you know, on my own. I watch from my home. I come in, extra, uh, extra time. And, you know, as a team, you know, if we, if we prepare, you know, we can go out and just, you know, play great ball fast. What's the future of the linebackers on this team? Are they in pretty good hands with the guys? Oh, right? yes, yes, they are. You know, Coach Smith are going with those boys right you now. Joe Bowden, James Ross, you know, Royce, Keller Ringer, uh, Antonio Poole. Those guys are hungry. And they, they, they learn fast. That's something that I've you know, said since the spring ball. Um, they're going to be a, a, a great bunch.